So in this video, you're gonna see where we are in the remodel of the bathroom. Dwayne did some amazing work on the tub. We are drywalling. And then this weekend, we'll be going out to the property. There's supposed to be a snowstorm coming. And our granddaughter, she just wants to go camping. Dwayne got this bathtub like good as new, other than a little rust stain right there. Look at how pretty and white it is. And if you can also see, we pulled up the entire floor, linoleum, the hardwood that was there, because the the um, height of it wouldn't allow us to retile the floor. So we pulled it up, and then when we put the tile on, it'll be at the right height, it'll match the hardwood in the hallway. And then Dwayne framed up around the pipe that you guys can see here. He, he squared up the top up here so we can put some drywall. This weird bump out area, we're gonna put shelves all in. So we are about to hang the first sheet of drywall. Okay, so we cut the board. Now, what are you doing? I'm giving it a little inside taper to where this line is flush up against whatever you're going up against. Because when the boards break, they break uneven. And so a lot of it protrudes out right in the center here. And your cut, you know, when you break them, your cut's off too. This just straightens it out. We put up our first sheet. And I cut that hole. Yes, you did. And I screwed in half of the screws. Yep, you sure did. You're learning. Because I have a good teacher. Hello, friends and family. You say hello. She's just looking at herself. All right. So this one wanted to go camping. We just got here about 10 minutes ago. It was 18 degrees inside the camper. 14 outside. Ooh, and we got it. Wow, we've made a difference fast. So now it's 30 degrees. We have the mini me going and the furnace. So here is the mini me wood stove going. And the fans. And the fans. Getting ready to have some hot cocoa and some hot dogs. Are you happy that we're at camp? So, the mini-me. It was. The mini-me has been able to maintain this heat. It was it. After so the furnace took the chill off. So, it's doing good. Yeah, it was doing 71 earlier, but I kept going in and out because I had to get my helmet. And, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go plow snow with my helmet on because it's coming down like crazy. 
and uh, of course I'm gonna wait for daylight but this little guy here it's doing the trick it is like 80 degrees in there yeah it's hot in here but it's nice when you come in from outside it just warms the bones so I was thinking we should do a pro and a con list for this video like the pros and the cons of the mini me um so let's think about it before yeah well no just getting it up the temp i already know because i've been dealing with it all night yeah. getting it up the tent temp uh to maintain this 80 degrees i'm putting a log in um every i let it burn down to where you can at least get one log in so it's every two and a half three hours i'll put a log in and you have the the thing open up full yeah, or do you yeah. have that all toned? night i had it halfway because it got too hot so i just went halfway and then it didn't blast like this because dustin was saying like if you tone it all the way down that's how you get it to last four yeah. hours long yeah. well it's 14 maybe colder right now yeah yeah you know? so yeah we needed a full blast to take that chill off but the heater the gas heater didn't come on hardly at all you know, there was a time there I got up, it was like two and I slept in a little bit longer than I normally would. And one of the logs kind of uh, would burn up inside. It didn't drop all the way. So that was a perfect opportunity for me to put some kindling in and get it raging again. So that's one of the cons is every once in a while, the logs don't come down the chute and you have to help them. Yeah, yeah. And I think the whole thing is is they get cockeyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, and Justin and I talked about breaking them up into smaller pieces, yeah. and then they go down. And another thing that people should know is uh, I invented this little deal here. Instead of just crashing your logs down the tube, just letting them go. See this little hook right here? I don't know if you can see it. If you yeah, turn the light on over. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got light in here, don't we? <laughs> but it's got a little hook right there. Just a piece of uh, baling wire. And uh, I just hooked the edge of the log, and this is how I send it down the chute. We got a little ceiling, so I've got to go with the curvature down the tube and then pull it back out. And all you do is, for disconnecting, you just turn it, and it just pops out. But uh, that's so you're not slamming your deck all the time in the stove. So yeah, one of the other cons, but we fixed it, is when we first got the stove, it was really hard to get heat to come out of the front of it until we removed the very first fire brick that's right in front of the window. Yeah, it keeps the glass cleaner too. Yeah, and so, so once we did that, then a lot of the heat actually yeah. can escape that tube and heats the room up a lot better. Yeah. And uh. But yeah, it stays. Yeah, you can still touch the ceiling. And probably one of the cons, but it's not anything to do with the stove, is these stoves are meant to be in like uh, camper RVs, buses, small cabins, like things like that for recreation. And we have it in a room that's built onto the toy hauler. So the ceiling right there is really low. So we don't have a lot of stove pipe that's on the inside before it hits triple wall. So we lose heat from not having as much pipe inside too. Yeah, yeah you could look at it that way, I guess. But, but it, it does fine though. I mean, these fans here are pushing that before it even leaves. It's sucking all this air out and that's why it stays so warm in here. Just pushing it through. I'd have to say, oh yeah, and the one other con that probably there's no way um, 509 stoves or Dusty would even know, um, I doubt, was you cannot use the hardwood Presto logs oh, in no, it. no, no. Uh, yeah, because they're uh, 3 and 7 eighths, and it gives you no room for uh, that metal expanding, and mm -hmm. it just squeezes them when it's hot. And you it can't use any out. other brand, like North Idaho logs, you can't use them because no, they're no, too big. No, Presto log, softwood only. Only. And that, that works great. I don't yeah. have a problem with that at all. And, uh, and like, you can use your own wood. Like, you can use firewood. Yeah, you just have to I split right it. Here. When I first started, this is what I'm using. 
Oh, yeah. There's little blocks like that. Scrap. You know, two by threes. Let's scrap off of this thing. But I'll burn it. I mean, it burns just as well. But it burns quick. You got to keep knocking it down. It's it's good for coal making. Yeah. yeah. And then I would have to say overall, the press this mini me stove is amazing. I th I think it has like way it. more positives and negatives. Well, I feel and, safe. I feel safer with it. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you don't even need these. Yeah. I we, mean, look at this. I'm we built these the fire shields. I'm touching the sides. I keep my hand there. And the shields that he's got on there are hot. <laughs> but these shields here, these deflectors, you don't really need. But it's kind of nice. I mean, this is wood and it's nice and cool. Gosh, man, what a difference. So these heat shields are kind of a cool thing to have. It keeps at it because you can't touch the sides. They do. No, oh, the stove comes with a heat shield. The, the heat shields yeah. and the stove, like this is... This is a real wood stove. It's built just like other wood stoves that we've had. Um, there's the brick that you can see that we removed. Yeah, this one right here in the front. And that just makes it easier so I can get my prong in here and do this. Break it up. If you want a roaring fire and a lot of noise, sounds like a jet engine when you do this. And boy, you'll get some heat out of here. You watch how fast. It heats up in here once you break that up a little bit. Yeah, the other positives are this is not too heavy um, for like two two Fun grandma move. and grandpas to move. Yeah, we we loaded it in there. And uh, it right has our, my little door there. Yep, and then it has this stand that we got with it, and it yeah. fits like See a what bunch it does? of logs. See what it does when you do that? It just roars. But you have it wide open too. Yeah. You yeah, could crank it down. It's hot in here. Yeah. Um. Here. Now it's starting to rumble. Uh huh. It was loud. I was in the bathroom this morning when I had two o'clock in the morning. I had to restart it. Um. And it was roaring so loud. I'm thinking, is that a freight train or we got a truck parked out here? No. So, I go about half. Yeah, so the positives are it is the only real wood stove we could find for an RV that was small enough to fit in our toy hauler. Um, it works very well as long as you only use Presto regular logs with it. Yeah, which is no problem. They're, yeah. It's, I um, mean, the, the hardwood's the same price as the soft. Yeah, we just gonna, we're just going to split it up into small pieces. Yeah, we have bought a whole pellet of 300 of them. Of them so. <laughs> so we got to use them. And this is what we do to get them in there. You can break them in half and break them again. Yeah, and they burn twice as long as a regular Presto log. Yeah, that's hardwood. That's all probably oak or something. I don't know. So overall, would I buy it again? For sure. Yeah, it's, it's a good... Uh, it cost us about 1500 I think, all together. With yeah. all the pipes, with stove, the everything. deck, we're storing the logs. And we have a pipe going through our RV carport. See, that's the log storage there. And you can see the difference. You got uh, a light color versus the dark color, hardwood. And the, this stove is made in America, right in Post Falls, Idaho. Yep. And yep. we met the welder and Dusty, the owner. Like, they're really good people. Now I'm okay. Gonna check and see what we got going in here. Oh, so, I'm gonna add a log right now. So I am going to add a log. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Still got a couple more inches to burn. Okay, well that is your 6A Mini Me pro and con list. Yeah. The only con is the big log. You know, the hard hardwood. Yeah, that's the only that's major con. Everything else is very positive. Okay. All right. Plow snow. I need coffee. All right. All right. Bye, y'all. See ya. Get him!
get get him, Harper, get him! <sighs> get him! Here, I got it. Hey, hear her in the background? This is what's happening. Look at this. Ready? <laughs> you guys want me to pull you? Yeah! Yeah, that'd be way more fun. Huh? Yes. Yes. Okay. 